What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We are rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for everybody to enjoy. And so if you want to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news first and fast, then make sure you do subscribe, it's free. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I am aiming for 18,000 subscribers. I'm less than 300 subs away from that goal, so any help towards that would be much appreciated by me. Don't forget also, you can go and follow my social media. You can find them links in the description below or sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. I am looking for an active sponsor for these daily Manchester City transfer updates. A good sponsor opportunity there for anybody that is interested. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Aiming for 300 likes once more. So again, any help towards that will be much appreciated and don't forget also to leave your thoughts in the comments below with what you make of these transfers without further ado let's crack on with this video let's start off with the outs and we do have an update on Manchester City youngster Taylor Harwood Bellis now Alan Nixon on Twitter, he has been reporting that THB, he will be loaned out by Manchester City again next season. Firstly, that's quite disappointing with Eric Garcia leaving. I was hoping we could have young, homegrown Taylor Harwood Bellis just naturally come in as Man City's new fifth choice centre-back. But obviously City went to get first team experience with him instead. That it looks like he's going to be heading out on loan. Blackburn Rovers there keenly, of course, had him for the second half of last season. You would imagine that gives them a slight advantage because City know that Taylor Howard Bellis would be getting used on a regular basis by them. Brentford are also interested. Interestingly, apparently some German teams are interested too. Hasn't named any German teams in them, just some German teams are interested. Uh, to me, I think a full season in the Championship would do him a world of good, which means Blackburn would be the most viable option with Brentford getting promoted to the Premier League. I think he'd struggle for a bit of game time and going to Germany, I don't know where he would end up and if he'd get game time or not, I think a sensible choice would be the Championship and a return back to Blackburn Rovers. Uh, did uh, Tosin Adara Bayo no harm whatsoever, so we'll see uh, what happens with um, Taylor Harwood Bellis. So there we go. Now, moving on, we've got an update on Nathan Ake. Now, Sam Lee, and he's been speaking a lot to, uh, about transfers in the last 24 hours or so, so we've got quite a bit to get through uh, with what Sam Lee has said. He said that Nathan Ake uh, leaving for him is off the table. It's off the cards. It is not happening. Nathan Ake will stay at Manchester City. Apparently, quotes are Nathan Ake, rumours leaving, false fabricated, don't exist, hasn't said that, and apparently Nathan Ake is looking forward to his second season here at Manchester City, which is exactly the attitude that I am looking for for a player that uh, is uh, being used as a squad-rotated player, wanting to break into the City team and looking forward to the new season. Great attitude to have there for Nathan Ake. Now, moving on to the end, and I presume this is an update on Nuno Mendes. As I go through the story, you'll understand what I mean by that. Now, Sam Lee has been reporting that Manchester City would be uh, open to bringing in a long-term replacement for Benjamin Mendy. However, Man City will not be pushing the boat out to bring in a 50 to 60 million pound signing to replace him with. I presume this is a direct dig at Nuno Mendes and Sporting uh, Club de Portugal that City will not be spending the £60.1 million pounds that they're looking for, his release clause, for him to leave Sporting CP. Uh, instead, Manchester City be willing to stick with what they've got, Alexander Zinchenko and Benjamin Mendy, or looking for cheaper players instead. City's focus is on attack and a lot of the money is going to be spent on the attack this summer. Uh, if any other player leaves in other positions, Man City more than likely will be, from the gist that I got from the article, will be reinvesting that money of their players leaving in bringing in a replacement. And so that would be the case that if Benjamin Mendy was to leave for how much he'd leave for, we'd bring in a replacement for roughly around the same price. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what to make of the uh, left-backs and situations there with uh, Manchester City, if I'm completely honest. Uh, we have been getting linked with Sergi Roberto from Barcelona. He can cover right back in defensive midfield, of course, and it would allow then uh, João Cancelo to be used more as a left-back, uh, but it would cast out uh, Benjamin Mendy, you would think. So, I'm not sure. The advantage we had with Nuno Mendes was that he was homegrown, uh, not homegrown, but he was under the age of 21 and didn't need registering, uh, so it wouldn't matter if he was homegrown or not. Where as soon as you get over the age of 21, it does matter. So, 
I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, last I heard, Man City were after left back, so this is contradicting that. So we'll see. The summer, it's long. Now, moving on to our final story and the most interesting story of this transfer update and one of the most interesting of my transfer updates so far this summer. Sam Lee has said that Americ Laporte would like to leave Manchester City. He's told Manchester City that he isn't happy with game time and would be open to leaving should an opportunity arise. He would like a return back to Spain and he's open to leaving Man City to go back to Spain. This is all down to game time. Remember me speaking about Nathan Ake and having a great attitude looking forward to the new season coming in looking to fight try and get himself back into the team well that's exactly what I'd have been looking for from the port but Ake's got that attitude John Stones has got that attitude uh, he said last season he isn't leaving Man City he's going to fight for his place instead and it's worked wonders well hey Merrick Laporte going gets tough it seems he wants to go rather than uh, him actually want to fight for his place, which is slightly disappointing. I don't know how much to read into this and whether it's true or not, but uh, Americ Laporte is of top quality, and losing a top quality left-sided defender like Americ Laporte would be a big, big blow to Manchester City. And if he's wanting to return back to Spain, then uh, who's going to sign him? Who's got the money there to provide Manchester City to, to sell Americ Laporte? I mean, uh, he wasn't exactly cheap. I'm fairly sure he's brought in for around 55, 60 million pounds. Um, and so we'd be looking for profit on that. And during the COVID market as well, I'm not too sure that would happen. Uh, but interestingly with this story, apparently if Laporte is to leave, City as a replacement already have their target in mind. That man is Poe Torres of Villarreal, has a release clause, was 50 million euros. It's now, as of this season, 65 million euros. And that's where Man City would be heading. In. So I presume that's the figure we're looking at for Laporte. City will be looking for around 65 million euros that if he was to leave, Potorres would be brought in and so it's not affected our finances in any way. Will Laporte leave? Will Potorres be brought in? That's interesting. We'd love to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. So there we go. That has been today's transfer update. I do hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a thumbs up so I know that you did enjoy this video. 300 likes, that's what we're aiming for. Don't forget also to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers. Subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all the latest Manchester City transfer news this summer every single day. Aiming for 18k subscribers. So don't forget to press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. 300 subs away we are, ladies and gentlemen gentlemen so any help towards that would be greatly appreciated don't forget also you can find my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries and i'll be back again tomorrow religiously for another manchester city transfer update so i've been jsgc i hope everyone has had a fantastic weekend i do hope that everyone is safe and well and i'll see you everyone again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. I've been JSGC bidding you all a farewell. Peace. Ciao for now.